Peace, everyone. This is out to the gangs, to the gangs, to the gangs. And I'm talking about Negro, Latin gangs, gangs, interracial gangs, like all kinds of gangs. If you're black and you're part of a gang, posse, it's a gang movement, something that you're affiliated with, something that you have to be strict with, I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know, you walking around with a cross chain, Jesus cross chain, you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, I'm going to just let you know. I'm just going to let you know during these days, and even from before, all right, that you cannot be affiliated in a gang. I'm going to keep it real. For my behalf, I'm going to let it out. I do respect the fact that I see gangs coming together. Crips and Bloods. I see Crips and Bloods mostly. I see that. Other gangs that I really don't see, but I see most likely Crips and Bloods reuniting or so, come together. From what I heard, they were supposed to, they, they were supposed to protect the community or whatever. I, I don't even want to get involved. This is none of my business what their gang belief, but if you're in a gang, you cannot believe in God. You cannot serve two masters. I am not your enemy saying this. I'm doing this for the fact for 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 whosoever say that believes in the most high, that believes in the Bible itself and the apocrypha. And the Tanakh, which is in Hebrew. However you get your Hebrew translated, or if you know about the Hebrew, I just wanna say something real quick. Again, you cannot be part. No you can't be part of no gang association. I'm going to go to the Old Testament in Exodus 20. So I can give you proof. It's either you put the flag down, you put your beliefs down with your gang, or you remain in your gang, do so. I'm not here to even worry about what anyone has to do or say or anything or, or have any issue against me, but I'm just going to prove all things. It's according like 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Told me in verse 21. So, and this is a warning too, as well. The creator is a jealous God. God is a jealous God. He's very jealous. Exodus 20, and this is the first commandment. So, if you believe in the creator, later on, remember, a brother like me and others have been telling you this you cannot serve another God. You cannot serve another master. You cannot serve someone that has principality, authority over you. You cannot. You cannot. I'd be a hypocrite if I was in a gang right now. Excuse me for talking about it. I, I'd be a hypocrite if I was in a gang right now and I'm worshiping the creator and believe in the savior, Jesus Christ, so-called Jesus Christ. I can't be part of no activity. This is the Holy Spirit is that's 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 installed in me. It's telling me to share it to those out there. You may not hear it no more. You may need to hear it now, because the Most High words is gonna be like famine later on. You want to search for the truth, and you need answers of what's going on and why bad things are happening, why things are not working your way, why people are turning against you, why even your own gang is turning against you. Betrays you, kill you, probably who knows doing what to stand in the third behind your back or in front of you or using you or protecting you or servicing you. But you cannot get service, you can't be affiliated with no gang, and you cannot believe in the creator at the same time or the savior. Exodus 20, this is the first commandment, and you will be breaking this. First commandment, and I'm going to read the first scripture. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. This goes to you, Negro, man. Let me turn it around so I can have show proof. Okay. Just give me a little blurry. Forgive me for that. It's a little blurry. There we go. All praises. It said, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 
thou shalt have no other gods before me. Let me repeat. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Look how it's written. Lowercase g. Gods. No higher power. No one that has authority before the most high. No one's no one runs you but the most high. So that's the proof right there. Now let's take it to the New Testament. That was in the Old Testament. This is the New Testament. Let's go. Let's see what the Son has to say. And this is a precept. And all by, and, and by the way, um, this is what I'm doing. Chapter um First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse twenty-one. I gotta prove all things. This is what I'm doing. Prove all things and hold fast, right? That which is good. And I'm just trying to make sure that those, you know, attain, you see, abstain, abstain, excuse me, abstain from all appearance of evil. So you have to be isolated from evil. Isolated from the oppressors. Isolated from these holidays, these pagan holidays. Isolated from your feelings that are holding you back in life. Isolated from this wickedness. Isolated from saying himself, which is in the spirit. The father of evil of this earth. Let me go to Matthew. 24, excuse me, Matthew 6. Because according to the Bible, all these things in the world, it's vexation, it's vain, according to the Bible. It's nothing. It's telling your beliefs, it's nothing compared to the Bible, the biblical belief. And here it goes, I'm about to bring out the scripture. So if you have that Jesus cross on, whatever, this is the records right here, biblical records. Matthew 6 and 24, and I'm being brave enough to say this, and I'm showing you this is, and this is also written in red. It's the blood of Jesus Christ, this is written in red. It said, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Basically, man, mammon is basically like wealth, power, so, you know, privileges and all that. So basically, you cannot serve God and mammon at the same time. And, you know, the most high is going to hate, basically, the things that you serve him. You know, things you, 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 you so strict with. All right? So I'm being brave enough to say this. I'm speaking out. And this is out in public so everyone will know. Even if someone was to come to me and ask me this question, I will have I'll be ready. I'll prepare and I will let them know. And exactly from Exodus 20, verse 2, and Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, where it says, No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Even if you are a police officer too, and you're a brother. You're a black man, you're a Negro. So called African American. So called Israelite. So-called Christian. You cannot serve two masters. You was better off being a laborer, live your regular life, and that's it. Simple. But if you're going to serve two, you're going to have a creator that's going to be jealous of the other creator. And I'm going to show proof where it mentions about that the creator is um, a jealous God. Give me one second. So, this is why I'm not part of no gangs. I'm not saying that there isn't no gangs that's gonna be out there for me to look out for me to hold me down or anything to protect me and, and you know anytime I need help for someone, but I'm not part of. I'm not being affiliated with no gangs. I don't need to be a gang. I don't need to be a gang, you know, to be someone, to be live, to be lit, you know, to have to get attention or, you know, to be protected or, you know, based on living in a certain community or wherever, you know. So I'm going to stick to my belief. I 
I'm not doing this video to create any attack on gangs. Because it's not only just Crips and Bloods, that's the only gangs. There's tons of gangs out there. And it has black, my Negroes, my people in it. And what I'm doing here is just giving warning and doing what was told as, a, as me being in the watchman position. So I'm gonna just get this last scripture where it mentioned that mentioned about is like a preset it mentioned about that God is a, a jealous God. All right, Exodus 34 and 14. I don't know that off top because I have so many scriptures and so many things in my head. You know, forgive me. <sighs> Exodus 34 and 14. I'm not here to smile or laugh when it's live or cry any threats or anything, but I'm telling you, you know, this is what's gonna happen. And if you're a non-believer and you're not, you're not, you're not in the biblical truth, this is the the the, the threat. That's what's going to happen. You're going to be fit in the criteria of First Corinthians 6 and 9 through 10. Exodus 34. Exodus 34 and 14. For thou, hold on, let me bring it out. For thou shalt not worship no other God, for the Lord his name is jealous. It's a jealous God. This is in Exodus. I'm not making this up. 34 and 14. See? Even the, the Bible was already prepared with it up top. I've just now seen this. All praises. Don't know if this is spiritual or not. So, well, I can say it's spiritual because look, I just came to this page, Exodus 34. And 14 and see Exodus 34 and 14. That means is a definitely a, a message that needs to be said. For thou shalt not worship no other God for the Lord. For, excuse me. For thou shalt not worship no other God for the Lord whose name is jealous. It's a jealous creator. A jealous God. A jealous power. So, your choice. Whatever you want to do, brother, sister, say, Lord be with you. Whatever age you at, I'm going to say most high be with you. I ain't going to wish you no hate. And you don't have to be in this truth. It's not mandatory for you. And I won't hate you. That's for you being my brother and sister. For what you got to do. I love you. By, I love you by me doing this. By giving you God's words. By giving you the creator's word. I don't need any, I don't need any credit for this. Any validation for this. But you to get respect for yourself and for the creator. We need you out there, black man, black woman. And when I mean black man, black woman, Negroes, Negroes, melanated ones, those that are the believers of the um, you know, of the Bible, throw them consist themselves as, you know, Israelites. So this is for you. This is for you gangs out there. You want a gang, join the Christ gang, join the Torah gang. The book is waiting for you. You don't even have to run to no church. The church is within you. You are the church. You read. You prophesy. The Most High will be with you. Or else you will fit this scripture right here. All praises. I'm not even laughing. Exodus 34. And I'm so proud to see the scripture right here. Verse 9. And he said, If I now have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us. For it is a stiff-necked people and part of our iniquity and our sin and take us for thy inheritance. Don't take the most high name in vain. That's another that's another commandment you don't want to break. Don't take his name in vain. Don't sin because the wage of the sin is death. Don't sin because the wage of the sin is death. This is a warning. Come out of her. Right now Babylon is falling. It's time to come out of her. A lot of us are hurting. In the inside and not even letting the world know or do letting the world know the most i know this world is in sorrow 
in this world is full of stiff neck people. I was a stiff neck. I can still be a stiff neck if I end up leaving this truth and end up being in the world. And have served no purpose and just believe in God and said, forget the book and just believe in God. When the wisdom of this Bible makes perfect sense. So this is why I'm going to bring on Ecclesiastes in my next video. I want to get down to this, you know, pirate situation with slavery. But I'm just doing research on that. I'll do that another time. But it's really more important. I'm just bringing out current events of what's going on today and what's been happening in the past. And this is nothing new under the sun. So please take heed to um, this video. You can replay it, write down the notes, or write down the scriptures, and memory, meditate daily, and pick up the course and be a good soldier of Christ. Lord be with you.